how can a CEO hire a data-driven, process-driven sales leader or chief revenue officer? I get that question all the time. You know what? The short answer is you probably won't. It's really hard in one person to find that leader that can help close deals, hire and fire and motivate your team and stay on top of the data and do business process optimization along the way. So what you're really asking is, what is the team that could manage a data-driven, process-driven revenue engine? And let's just remind ourselves what's at stake here. If there were just seven process improvements that we could find along the way, where each of these are just a 10% improvement, then I've just doubled my revenue without adding a single lead or a single additional salesperson. So what is the organization that you need in order to make this happen? So we already said you have a leader, a sales leader. Rather than replacing that leader or trying to find an all-in-one person that can take care of the data, the process optimization and the enablement, et cetera, what we're increasingly seeing is that next to the VP or CRO, a new role is emerging. And this title could be maybe VP of sales strategy is a common title that we're finding, or it could be sales strategy and operations. But basically what you have here is the VP of sales strategy is to the CRO, what the COO might be to the CEO. So you're looking for the Sheryl Sandberg to complement your Mark Zuckerberg, right? Your CRO would be very brilliant in closing deals and hiring and motivating people. But in addition to that, you're going to need a chief of staff in your sales organization, who is, by the way, going to likely build out an organization underneath. So critical functions here might be business intelligence or data science, crunching the data on your process. A critical function might be operations, putting in sales technology to help automate and provide turn-by-turn -turn directions for your reps. Another critical function might be enablement, right? So who is going to be the person that will make sure ongoing coaching happens, both onboarding and ongoing. So this is one model that we see. And the VP of sales strategy here is a quite senior title. Could be a former salesperson, or it could be someone who came up to the ranks, maybe an MBA with some business process optimization background, et cetera. Now, the second model where we see is maybe that title isn't quite as senior, but maybe in addition to my VP, I might have a um, sales ops, and increasingly we see that be titled revenue ops, truly optimizing the entire process, demand generation, sales, and customer success. And I might have a revenue enablement person. So here, again, the primary role of the revenue operations person will be to find opportunities, often in the data, to improve your sales process. The role of the revenue enablement person is now to implement those, because at the end of the day, you're talking about people interacting in front of customers. So any opportunity will require maybe behavioral change. And how do you implement those skills? How do you coach people to change their behavior and try something new in front of customers? That's what the role of revenue enablement is. So revenue ops, I might you know, comp them on a single KPI every quarter that they're helping me improve. It might be um, close rate, it might be deal size, it might be sales cycle. Revenue enablement might get comped on how quickly they can take new reps and ramp them up to full productivity. When should you hire these people? What if you have a small company? Well, much sooner than you might think. Think about it. If the collective of this organization could improve the individual rep productivity by just 20%, and I have just five reps, okay, five times 20 is 100. So basically what I'm saying is that if you think that a revenue operations or enablement person could improve productivity of five reps by 20%, it's better to hire that RevOps person next rather than hire an incremental rep. So there we have it. 
building an organization to run a data-driven sales process and revenue engine requires the creation of new roles and functions where we're seeing MBAs, business process engineers entering the field and being dedicated experts to help you define, measure, and improve your revenue engine.